These are important messages displayed on custom signs. Let's see how to add those. Alright, we found some back intelligence more. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom signs over here to Minecraft with Minecraft 120.1. So that's gonna be very interesting indeed. Now let's start with the signs. The signs are, I mean, as you can clearly see from the length of this video, a little bit more complicated. The reason is that we have to go through a couple of different well, things in a couple of different classes, and we have to create a lot of stuff. Let's start by creating the custom block entities, then the custom blocks, then we're going to register the blocks, then we're going to create the items, then we're going to do the data gen. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a whole thing. So in our entity package, we're going to create the mod sign block entity class. There we go. And we're also going to create the mod hanging sign block entity class because those are different. Now, it is very, very important that we get this right. So in the mod sign block entity, we want to extend the sign block entity class. So this one right here. Hover over this create constructor matching super. It doesn't matter which one we take, but this one is correct. The one with the position and the block state over here. And then we also want to override the get type method where we will make a deliberate error over here. And we'll make another deliberate error because we actually also have to pass in the type here in the super. For the mod hanging sign, very important, we also want to override the sign block entity over here hover over this create constructor matching super once again make a comma over here and override the get type method and there we go if we were to take a look at the sign block entity itself you can see if we press Control h over here we have the hanging sign block entity which is a little bit different in theory over here in this case however we can't use this because it because it forces us to use the block entity type of hanging sign that is why we have to use the sign block entity here for that one so those are going to be the two block entities we need to register those so that we can actually return a type right here however to register the block entities we first of all need the block classes and those are going to be four of them, and that's going to be the mod hanging sign block. There we go. I'm going to continue with the mod standing sign block. There we go. And we have the mod wall hanging sign block. And can you guess what the last one is? It is the mod wall sign block exactly right there you go so let's just start it doesn't really matter which one we start with actually it does so this is going to be the mod hanging sign block very important that we extend from the right class this is going to be extending from the ceiling hanging sign block okay that's very important that is the that is the hang sign that comes from the ceiling and it is not on the wall we also want to override the new block entity method over here and make a new mod hanging sign block entity passing in the position as well as the state right here so you can see and that is actually the block done that's luckily everything that we need to do we now move on to the standing sign block the standing sign block is going to extend the standing sign block class once again very important over over this create constructor matching super overwrite the new block entity method and here we can also create a new this time the mod sign block entity it is extremely important that you make sure to choose the correct class over here and to also extend the correct classes otherwise there will be mismatches and that's going to get you into trouble basically it's going to not make the signs work properly so that's the standing as well as the hanging sign block. Now we get the two wall variants. First, the wall hanging sign block over here, which will extend from the wall hanging sign block. Very important once again to choose the correct one. Hover over create constructor matching super, overriding the new block entity method, and then making a new mod hanging sign block entity. P pause and P state over here. There you go. And then we can move on to the last one, which is the wall sign which is going to be extending from the wall sign block class over here. There you go. Hover over this create constructor matching super new block entity overriding that. And then we're going to make a new mod sign block entity. There you go. P pause and then the P state right here. And that's going to be all of the different classes for the blocks, which then in turn means we can go to the mod blocks class and now actually register the blocks first and foremost, because that's the next step that we want to do. And we can go down here. Now, those ones are actually going to be registered with a blocks that register. So let's take a crop, for example, over here, if we have one. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to be the blocks that register instead of using the register block method as the items have to be registered independently. So this is going to be the pine underscore sign. And this is going to be the pine underscore sign. And this will be a new mod standing sign block. 
first parameter of which is going to actually copy the oak underscore sign and none of the rest here is needed. And then the second parameter after the first glowing parenthesis is actually going to be a custom wood type. Now, in this case, we do not have a wood type just yet because we've not created this. So we're going to create that as well. This is going to be in our util package. This is just where I put this. You can also put it elsewhere, but that's going to be okay. This is the mod wood types class is going to have a public static final wood type over here from net micro world level state properties called pine in this case equal to wood type dot register making a new wood type passing in tutorial mod dot mod id plus and then colon pine over here and then block set type is going to just be oak it doesn't really matter what this is but there you go that is the mod wood types here done quite important and to make sure that this is also registered, you then want to go to your tutorial mod class over here to the client mods and you want to add this to the sheets. Now, this is going to be at the very top sheets dot add wood type and then mod wood types dot pine over here. That's quite important to add. So don't forget that. With that added, we can go back to the mod blocks class and basically give it here. So this is the mod wood types dot pine and all of a sudden the pine sign works and now we can duplicate this four more times this is going to be the pine underscore wall underscore sign and here the same thing pine underscore wall underscore sign and this is then the mod wall sign block there you go which will also copy over the oak wall sign right very important to change the block that it copies just in case there is anything that basically needs to be copied over pine hanging sign similar here pine underscore hanging sign and this is of course the mod hanging sign block there you go which will also take the oak hanging sign over here for the copy. And then last, but certainly not least, is the wall, pine wall hanging sign. There you go. And this is also the pine underscore wall underscore hanging underscore sign, which will be the mod hanging mod wall hanging sign block. There you go. And last but certainly not least, the wall hanging sign copied. There you go. What a crazy journey. Now, luckily, with those done, we can now go back another step to the block entities and then we can realize, wait, we need the type over here. So we now need to register the block entities. And because we finally have the blocks, we can now go into our mod block entities class and actually do that. For this, I will just copy over the gem polishing BE over here because it makes it a little bit easier. And what you basically want to do is you can create one type of block entity, which would be the mod underscore sign, right? This is going to be of type mod sign block entity. I'm going to call this the mod underscore sign right here. We're going to call this the mod sign block entity. And then the blocks are going to be the pine sign as well as mod blocks dot pine wall sign dot get. And you can see that works. So every time you add another type of wood in this case and another type of sign, you can literally just add those here to the mod sign block entity. And that should work totally fine because those are all generic, so to speak, right? Not in not in the Java sense, but in the language sense, right? They're just a generic mod hanging sign. The actual wood type is then determined right here when you're actually creating it with the mod wood type. So that's the general idea. So that is why you basically only need one of those. Then we can actually go into the mod sign block entity, say mod block entities dot mod sign dot get. And the same thing goes here. I will return mod block entities that mod sign that get awesome. So that is that one done. And then the hanging sign is as easy as literally just copying this over as well. And this is then going to be the mod underscore hanging sign. And of course, similar here, right? Mod underscore hanging sign. And this is then, of course, the mod hanging sign block entity. Similar here, mod hanging sign block entity. And then you also want the hanging as well as the wall hanging sign blocks over here. And there you go. We can close all of this and then in the block entity, say mod block entities that mod hanging sign dot get. And once again here, mod block entities dot mod hanging sign dot get. And all of a sudden, our classes are more or less done over here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Before we go to the data gen, let's actually first of all make the items as they are actually, I think, the easiest of all of them because they're just normal items here in this case. Let's just duplicate the rhino spawn egg once. And we're going to make the pine underscore sign. And this is going to be the pine underscore sign. That's fine. This is going to be a sign item in this case, which is going to take in the properties here, but it is only going to stack to 16. Quite important. The second parameter is going to be mod blocks dot pine underscore sign dot get. 
uh, third parameter mod block start wall sign pine wall sign dot get there you go and that's actually going to be it we can duplicate this for the pine underscore hanging underscore sign and of course changing the name here as well that is actually quite important to do and this is then a hanging sign item where we then actually get the blocks first for some freaking reason and the item properties at the end and of course don't forget to change the blocks here this is for the hanging sign as well as the wall hanging sign. There you go. And that's going to be the items done as well. And that is freaking phenomenal. Okay, let's go then to the data gen over here, which is going to start with the item model actually, because that is the easiest, because it is as easy as literally just saying simple item here for mod items dot pine sign. Then to duplicate this for the hanging sign as well. So that's going to be the signs done for the items. However, not quite for the rest, of course. In the block states, what we have is we have this awesome method called the sign block over here. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And what we can do is we can say mod blocks dot this is the pine sign dot get. And we can cast this to a standing sign block here in this case, because we know that it is a standing sign block. After the second closing parenthesis, we then want to say mod blocks dot this would be the wall sign dot get dot casting this to a wall sign block in this case wall sign block there you go and then the last parameter here of this is going to be once again after the second closing parenthesis once again this would be block texture and then we want to say mod block start pine underscore planks dot get because that's actually going to be the texture for the particles that you need and for the hanging sign Ah, uh, well, well, well. Wouldn't it just be awesome if we just had a hanging sign method? Yeah, of course we don't. We have to copy some of that over, of course, once again. There you go. So that's going to be this. And actually, we also want to copy over the name right here, which is also going to be copying over the key, I believe, as well. There you go. So those are going to be the four methods that we have to copy over to probably data gen hanging signs, because uh, why make it easy if you could make it complicated? Uh, but there you go. So this is going to be the hanging sign block right here basically just reformatted this and then this is the hanging sign and this is the wall hanging sign you can of course take a look at the methods right here in the description below github repository that's where this is all available to you so no worries at all we of course still need loot tables so in our block model loot tables here in this case it's going to be this dot add for the mod blocks dot pine not the leaves but it is the pine sign dot get and this is then going to be a block for the create single item table mod items dot pine sign dot get because in this case the sign as well as the wall sign both drop the pine sign item and the hanging sign as well as the wall hanging sign both drop the hanging sign item here in this case because that's the basically the way that they are set up. So that's the data gen done. Let's also add them to the creative mode tab. Otherwise, that would just be a big folly right here. That would be the sign as well as the hanging sign. That's freaking phenomenal. There you go. So that's actually freaking awesome. That's almost everything we have in our event class now, though. We want to go to our re entity renderer events, register renderers. If you don't have this, then you need to create a mod event bus client events over here with, very importantly, the bus being the mod bus, as well as the value being this client. And then right here in the register BER, this is the block entity renderers. We want to, to register another block entity renderer, and that's going to be for mod block entities dot mod sign dot get and this would then be the sign renderer colon colon new and then copy this for the mod hanging sign and then this is going to be the hanging sign renderer here in this case and there you go that is quite important and if you don't do this then you will also run into some errors and issues so there you go but in terms of the code this should pretty much be everything that we need now you know everything that we need that is actually quite a lot but overall that is going to be the steps that we are going to have to go through and we can now go on to the assets and such so first of all the translation of course that is going to be fairly straightforward here in this case it's just going to be the block actually because the items actually use the block language key here for the translation at least i'm pretty sure that they do so that should be totally okay and then when it comes to the textures we get a little bit more interesting because in this case we actually want to go to textures entity and inside of there we want to make a new directory called signs and then inside of there we need both the pine png as well as another directory in the signs directory called hanging and inside of there 
we get another pine.png. So do be aware which one is which. The hanging sign PNG is this one, while the normal sign PNG is this one. So that's basically the idea of it. And we also want the items, of course. So that's going to be the items for the signs. That's going to be the pine hanging sign as well as the pine sign. Now, of course, all of those different textures are also available to you. So that's going to be this one as well as this one. There you go. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And with that done, this should, in theory, be everything that we need. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything because it's very, very, you know, it's easy to happen on the signs because they are sometimes pretty freaking crazy. I mean, as you can clearly see, they are not the easiest to just easily add over here. But let's just uh, run the data over here and then we can jump in to the game and see if everything works. There you go, data gen 12 files written. So let's jump into the game and see our signs for the first time. All right, fans, we're back in Minecraft. As you can see, the sign and the hanging sign have been added. And if we set them down, yes, let's freaking go. It works. The wall sign also works. There you go. And then when it comes to the hanging signs, so we can put them, for example, sort of over an overhang over here. This would be the ceiling one, right? So this is the ceiling one. That works totally fine. And then when we put them like between two blocks here, for example, it's not kind of like this. And that also should work absolutely freaking fantastic. And of course, you can ascribe very cool things over here, right? So instead of just saying ceiling, right, we can also say ceiling sub to a uh, count drill, for example, you know, that, that could be a thing that you could display over here. And look at it. It fits perfectly into the sign. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that is custom signs for you added to Minecraft. And that's it for this tutorial right here. And this one will continue by adding custom boats to Minecraft. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.